Hi there, I'm Kim Weber with the Gimpy Gourmet. Today we're going to do a video that's a little different. We're going to talk about some things that have made it easier for me in the kitchen and they might make it easier for you as well. First thing is, and it's one of the first things we tried, we put our olive oil and vinegar in bottles with Kind of like these are the stoppers that are like in bars on the liquor bottles and they'll glug you out you know an ounce at a time and which makes it good when you're using them to mix and things like that so that was one of the first things we did we use this example to show you that you can use either a bottle that's made for olive oil or a wine bottle this was a nice rosé the next thing, and we cannot claim this idea as our own at all, we got this from the Brothers Green, and we will use their word for it. These are called zips. <laughs> They're reusable plastic bottles. And in these, we have a these special things. We have a roasted, haban, roasted pineapple and habanero sauce for, for chicken. We have oil that we use to just regular vegetable oil we have white vinegar that we use for some things this last one is honey and we put it in here so we can get the bottle ready to go to recycling and remember to order a new bottle of honey from the csa this is a salt cellar and it's a big one it comes in bamboo container, which as you know is a renewable source. I take credit, don't take credit for this one as well. This is identical to the one that Laura Vitale uses, and I think that's pretty cool. You can put salt in here. They make one that has a space for both salt and pepper, but I don't like that because I want you to grind your own pepper if you get a pepper grinder. Last thing, and this grouping is on this jar, which is a vol jar. Instead of having a seal and a ring, it's a plastic lid. This makes it so much easier for me. And I do this once a jar is open, say it's a jar of tomatoes or a jar of pickles or whatever. I go ahead and close it back up because let me tell you, I have done all the twisting of jars I'm going to do during the canning process. So anyway, we've got some gumdrops in here just for pretty and they, they make it fit. So let me get the next group of articles and I'll show you what that looks like. These are the silicon whisks. These are really pretty and they work really well. Batter tends to fall off of them after you're through mixing it. Eggs whip right up and they're easy to clean. So silicon whisks are both a time and energy saver. This next section are these tools with silicon heads. We bought them because we liked the colors and thought they would look good in the kitchen, not knowing that these would make it really more effective and really easier to cook. Um, the silicon makes nothing stick it, when you're mixing up a batch of granola or you're mixing up a cake or something like that. It just falls off. You don't have to worry about it easy cleanup too. This little one is great if you need to get into the corners of a jar, a jar of Nutella, a jar of anything, mayonnaise. You can get in there and get all the goodness out. This little spoon, I've used a little less than I've used these, but it works great too. You can use it either when you're stirring soup or when you're stirring chili something like that and, you, and it just falls off and if you're making chili or spaghetti sauce unlike a white plastic spatula or spoon it doesn't stay this is 
pretty much non-stain. I've not found anything that stains it yet. Is this is a spatula with silicone on it. This is great for if you need to um, scrape down the sides of your mixing bowl when that gets, um, you know, when you're mixing a cake or mixing brownies or something like that. This is good for scraping down your mixing bowl. I haven't used it to do something like ice a cake or, you know, anything like that. So I don't know how well that would work. I'm still planning on using an offset spatula to do something like that. But, and if I can get one of those in silicone, that'd be great. But I haven't seen it. But anyway, not I mean you're not looking. So be on the lookout. These are really wonderful. These tongs, and they're spring loaded. Okay, these hang up with this. You can hang them on a rack. You can open these like that. They have ridges so that you can easily take pasta or, you know, items out of like say, I like it to take pasta out of boiling water. That's one good thing for it. Now, one of the things I use these extra long ones for, I use these to stir granola or stir things in the oven without having to get way down in there in the oven. So that's what those are for. These are a shorter, kind of more manageable brand if you're cooking in a non-stick skillet. These are great, as are these, and these. These are great because they're not going to scratch up your non-stick skillet. You're going, <laughs> you're going to, you know, be able to. You're not going to leave divots. I have many divots in my old non-stick skillet, but not my new one. And then this last one is a little one. It's not as spring-loaded as it. It does have a little resistor on it to resistor band to keep it closed but these are good i think for moving around if you're moving around hors d'oeuvres or moving around some kind of little pastry things or whatever get to you know they're extensions of your hands next we're going to talk about parchment paper i love it and I think it's a wonderful thing to use if you're baking. However, when I have a whole roll of parchment paper, I make a mess. So we found at Kroger these parchment paper pop-ups. And they pop up out of here like Kleenex. The size that pops out is the size that fits a cookie sheet. So you can, you know, this is perfect for us because, you know, I'm using this to make cookies or whatever. And I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Use your parchment paper until it's just unusable anymore. It's really good and you can use it, but you know, for several batches of cookies or something like that. Oh, and it makes cleanup a breeze. You know, if you're, if you're using this to, I roast apples for applesauce and they get kind of sticky if, on a, if you just do them on a pan. If you put them on a piece of parchment paper, they peel right up and you can use that parchment paper to go on to your granola or whatever it is that you're fixing next. The last thing I have to talk about today are these blue fire oven gloves. Now, the reason I like oven gloves is they cover all the way to here and they keep you from burning the sides of your wrists you get a lot of dexterity with them, which I don't have really great fine motor skills, but these are great. They're 
up to, raise it up to, I think, 550 degrees. And my oven doesn't go that high, so I'm in good shape. But you can go ahead and use these anytime, and they're great. And I would suggest to anybody that these Blue Fire are maybe my favorite oven gloves that I've tried. And I'll just tell you, when I first got MS, because I was not handy with fire things, my doctor asked me, did I have a new job as a fry cook at Long John Silver's? So you will save your wrists. I have really not had any burns at all since we got these gloves. This is part one of useful things in the kitchen. And we're, we'll put together our next series of 10 or so items that you can look at. And, you know, you may already have some of these items. You may want to upgrade some of these items. And we'll, we're, we'll keep looking for some things to, to add. Uh, you know, if you have any suggestions of something that's making it particularly easy for you, let us know in, in the comments below, and we'll be glad to look into it. And if it's not something that we can find, we'll, we'll show a picture, and you can let us know if that's it, and we'll see what we can find. So we hope you've enjoyed this change of pace video. We hope that you'll give us a thumbs up if you like the video. We want us to see you again, so please subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so it'll tell you when we've got a new video up. We really enjoy you spending your time with us. And as Warren Zevon said, enjoy every sandwich. Live it out Ooh, that's what it's all about I am told It comes back to you many Just be true, and all that sweet stuff comes back to you. Be the apple of somebody's eye. Be that.